drama sangat lasepi hanya berteman bayang-bayang so challenge is um well the last time um when i do uh, programs for mlisi tv yeah i i speak Malay all the time, so I uh, I always have that, you know, thought that I I don't think I can speak English well, and I don't think I can host a TV program in English. Yeah, so that has been holding me back for so long, until last year when they sent me to uh, International Press Junker E International Press Junker, I was like still have that. You know, I, I think the whole world will laugh at me. Uh, the whole world will look down on me. But so you're a bit insecure. I I oh, it's not a bit. It's like a really lot. a lot. Of, I feel very insecure. Um, nobody laugh at me. Nobody look down on me. And nobody even like trying hard to understand what I'm saying. So they were like, you know, uh, they they understood me as as easy as how they understand under, understand the other people's uh, you know way of talking and they speak. Mm. Then I only I know when I got to speak to Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian understand me and she loves my joke. I said that's the biggest thing that ever you know uh, happened to me and the Kim Kardashian can understand my joke and she laughed. Uh, where she said she seldom laugh wow. and she seldom smile also due to trying to avoid the wrinkles <laughs> <laughs> so when I talk to her she laugh when I talk to Juliana Rancic she laugh and I managed to make the whole uh, junket laugh when I spoke to uh, Ryan Seacrest and from there on I think I am not as bad as I thought so that was the biggest challenge and I and I managed to, to, to get it through. And that must have been your most memorable experience as well, and right? It was, and I think at that time, I have not uh, let down Malaysia and I took the world. Whoa!